came in today to see Pamela Anderson. So That's what got you to work today. It did. Baba Booey knows how to motivate you. Yeah. Look at these pictures of Playboy. These are the sexiest damn pictures I ever seen. You didn't see these, Fred? No, I haven't. Don't let him see those. Take a look. Because he'll never give you back the magazine. Of course I'll Isn't that perfect? Oh, my God. She's so well-groomed. Ah. Isn't she? Look That's the that. sexiest part of it. I'm look not attracted to a woman's private parts, and look how cute hers are. Those those are definitely a number aren't they, one. Aren't they? Are you, uh, are, you two are wacky. Is, why? There's, There's nothing funny. wrong. Her Here's private why. parts are uh, cute. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Even her private parts are cute. Yeah, take look at that. <laughs> that is the mark of a beautiful woman. Do you think that's her, equally cute. Do you think that's her real pubic hair, or they, she squatted in bleach? Mm. I hope it's real. I mean, something I about so. blonde. Something about blonde down there that just makes I mean, Well, you're blonde. blonde. Are you blonde down there? Yeah, it's not darker. bright blonde. Yeah. You got a stalker. Mm. Mm. Well, maybe so you she may do bleach. a touch-up. Jackie, can I see? <laughs> ah. Let me see. Oh, he's going to show you. You're not going to show me? Well, I'll show Robin. She can tell you. All, All right. right, turn around. Show her. Go ahead. He'd love showing you anyway. I would show. <laughs> so show her. Ah, go ahead. See, After I know? show her, then I have every right to jump on her. <laughs> not, yeah, through ah. this glass, if you can get to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting a long time. Isn't that a great there. picture? How tall is she? Yeah, I asked that, too. I, I, don't, I don't think she's that tall. How old is she? She's like 20? I don't think she's that old. She's, she's like 20. Age, whatever it is. This is, the, this is the, the, the cover shot gets me because I think she looks like Marilyn Monroe, but like sexier. She doesn't even look like herself there. That is unbelievable. I don't like that picture as much as the ones in Oh, I do. I like the lipstick. That she's me too. Her mouth. Oof. That Jane Mansfield. Yeah, I'm going to audition her today for my movie. As what part? Because I'm looking at her resume. She hasn't done that much stuff. Do you want to see her resume? Go ahead. Here's Tell Pamela Anderson's resume. I'll show it to you. It's got three things oh, on it. Oh, wow. no, that's it? Uh, yeah, I don't know why they even send this out. They send it out with her publicity packet. It's embarrassing. Yeah, it's like, well, her film is Snapdragon. She has the lead. Television, of course. She has Baywatch Home Improvement and Deader Than Ever. And training, Ivana Chubbuck. What? The, the oh, trainer. That's her trainer, her <laughs> the tra acting coach That's it. Wow. But it looks she, like the computer printer broke down in yeah, the but middle she's, of Yeah, but, but like the point is that you she's at least honest that. about it. She doesn't waste your time with college you performing. Don't even put that in the package. You got a face like right. that. You don't need a big resume. You don't need a resume. <laughs> I'll tell you what the resume is. <laughs> yeah. Right here. Oh, she's 5'6", blonde hair, That's pretty good. grayish green eyes. Mm. And she might be the best actress on the planet. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Ooh. She could be the next Marilyn Monroe. Easy. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to see to it. <laughs> Finally, there's a new marriage. I'll see if she can act when she's in here. I, I'll know right away. You're going to you. test her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that play. includes sitting on your lap, doesn't it? She's going to do a scene. No, no sitting on the lap. No? No, I mean a real scene. A scene where she is my teacher and I am a acting student. Huh. I'm shocked. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you'll get to hear a scene from my new movie. <laughs> Hi. You excited to be here? Yeah, this is my favorite show. I love this show. I wanted to do this in so long, but I've been in New York twice. This is my third time in New York, so. So, uh, hey, have you listened? To, have you been listening to Howard talk about you? Yeah, a little bit. I wore pants because he said he was going to put me on the floor and do stuff to me. I heard that. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hey, we'll bring in just a second. Are you really nervous? A little bit. I probably will be when I get in there. Why? I mean, because really it's going to destroy me. Are we prepared to see her now? Oh, she's. No, how do I look now? Do I look in. better now? Well, you, this is what you say. Hold is on, your I'm, best not, I'm look. still looking. Okay. Do I look better like this? Come on, look. All right, okay, now you're I'm looking ready. as she's, good um, as you're going to, I suppose, with you know, that hair on your face. She's wearing pants. Oh, what? Oh. Tell her to she's take her pants off. Very, very revealing top. Yeah. Oh. So it sort of cancels, you know. Right. Yeah. Cancels. Cancels what? I'm a leg man. Wait, don't. No, you're not going to be slaughtered anything. Let me just look at you. Oh. Perfect. Well, let me soak you in for a second. Come on, don't sit down so quick. Where can I go? Where can I go? Is this me? Yeah, sit right there. Hi, good morning. Ooh, what a body. <laughs> oh, it's sick. Aww. This is sick. sick. I'm so excited. This is you know why I'm excited? Can I tell you the truth? Why? Let me tell you why I'm excited that you're here. Can I put these on now? Yes, please do. Okay. I don't know how well you know me or my reputation or anything, but um, I was married for many years. <laughs> and, well, I'm, I I'm, I'm, I'm ready to talk about it. What? That's what I respect about you. Yeah, and I, I guess you read that my wife died about six months ago. And <laughs> I... No, no, no kidding. Seriously. Really? Yeah, she really did. No, no, I'm not kidding. I just heard her on the radio yesterday. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you listened? You listened yesterday? I listen to you every day. That's an actress. Oh, you do? I oh, do. Oh, I didn't every think you day. did. I oh, gotcha. I know. I know everything. I listen all the time. Oh, cool. <laughs> so you're in love with me in a sense. I mean, personality-wise. Yes. And are you a, like a bad girl, like they say on TV, like you like to date bad boys? Bad boys. I haven't dated any bad. Well, I'm dating a bad boy now. Yeah, who's that guy again? 
Brett Michaels. Yeah, the guy from Poison. Yeah. Really? Right. Yeah. And he's a bad boy. <laughs> you date him. Bad. You date him. <laughs> yeah. Don't let him Wait. use you up, though. Do you want to be what married? Do you, you don't even want to be married. You know, don't let him use you up. Maybe she's using I him. I want to be married. You want to be married? I want to be married. You think he'd marry kids. you? Maybe one day. Yeah. Is he good in I bed? I don't know. Yeah. He is. <laughs> what happens with you? It's a great relationship. We have great sex. We get along. You're like 20 years old or something? No, I'm 27. Oh, you're 27. Yeah, I'm old. You're not that old. <laughs> you look great, whatever you are. Do you have oil on your chest? <laughs> Do you oil your chest? When? Do you have like oil or something right on your now? chest? Yeah. I have a, well, it's just like a aromatherapy kind of oil. It's like yeah. a perfume. You glisten. I got to get do that. I glisten? How do I get that? I can you want to glisten too? You are maybe the most attractive woman I've ever seen. Oh, no. You're Marilyn Monroe. Mm. I'm telling you. <laughs> no. All you got to do is get in like a real good comedy. I would love to do a comedy. I love comedy. Yeah. I'm telling you. You put on like a, you know, you'll be like the sex symbol in the comedy. Okay. That's I'll, what you I'm need. <laughs> I'm going to let you, okay. I'm going to let you read my uh, script. I have a, I have a, p uh, a part for you. You do? Yeah. I do. You gonna give me my big break? See, everybody looks at me like I'm nuts when I say a part. This is gonna be a very well, big film. Well, they know you, Howard. You know who my director is? Who is it? John Abelson. You know who he is? I I think. Well, no. Watch well, me impress her now. Wait a second. Wait, he's an Academy Award winning director. Uh, yeah, yes, look Rocky. Is. Rocky. Right. Oh, you really do listen to the show. <laughs> I know. I heard. <laughs> You've heard it all already, huh? <laughs> so, what's your story? No. Where did you grow up? Vancouver Island. Canada. What is that? In Canada? Canada? Yeah. No, you don't have a Canadian accent or anything. Not anymore. And then you're in Canada, and you always want to be an actress or something. No, I never. I didn't know what I was going to do. I, How'd you get down to Los Angeles? Man, you smell good. God, really? I bet you're real loose too. I bet you enjoy sex. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're going with rock stars and stuff, and Brett could pretty rock much rock stars. Only one rock star. Yeah, but he's had he's had his share. So I mean, you must be satisfying to him on not only on a physical level, but also on a on a, a sexual level. A sexual level. Saying? You know what I mean? Like I hope you so. you really know what you're doing in the sack. Well, I hope so. You exude sex. Did Matt Lauer try to get your phone number yesterday on Live at no, Five? No, no. I don't think he liked me. Are you, you kidding? Oh. I saw that interview. No, I don't yeah, think like, he Yeah, like some guy's not going to like I you. I think he was melting while you no. were there. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's dating Al McPherson. Yeah, but still. Well, see. Do, do you think he dug you? Oh, of course he did. No, dug I don't think he did. I don't think he did, really. I don't think yeah, you're right. Sure. I saw it on him. It was a long five minutes. I was getting everywhere nervous. You, go, you didn't like him. <laughs> and everywhere you go, I mean, guys must just like act real goofy and stuff, right? Even before you were famous, like now you go places, you have bodyguards. But before you got famous, you looked like how'd this. How did you walk around? Like, how did you walk around? Just like everybody else. And what do you, in L.A., you go to clubs and stuff, and you just walk in and you start dancing with guys? <laughs> or do you go to like a VIP section? I very rarely go out. Right, so, hardly, so how come in hard copy, they always have you going out and stuff? Because I've gone out probably three or four times in the last year, and they caught me every time. <laughs> Put it all together, and it looks really good. Hey, that outfit you're wearing now, is, that a, is there a bra on under that? Yeah, I wore my Wonder Bra for you. Oh, that's a, a Wonder Bra? Yeah. And you're, you're, you're wearing... Wonder Bra. That's a really great outfit. You're wearing stretch pants, and do you wear panties under that? Or how can you wear not. panties? No. You, there's no panties on under that. Exactly. <laughs> He's writing notes. Why are you writing notes over there? No because underpants under well, panties. Everything you say, is, everything you say is fascinating. Your fashion tips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me write that down again. No underpants <laughs> under <laughs> stretch pants. <laughs> that's a rule now. What kind of boots are you wearing? Let's see. Shoes. Oh, like, oh, like clogs. No, not clogs. Like, what do you call those? Oh, great. Brett those are wonder boots. wonder boots. These are my wonder boots. What are those called? Those <laughs> are called mules. Like those are mules. No, they're like platforms, no. but, they're, but they're... When you're with I a guy, would you ever boots. wear mules like that and just These be naked? Mules. These aren't mules. Those aren't mules? What are they called? They're platforms? Like platform, though. They're yeah, shoes. shoes. You find yeah, me attractive shoes. at all in a bizarre way? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. In I mean, a bizarre way. You're telling me <laughs> you would date me? I would. You know why? Oh. I gotta get I gotta get divorced. Is it because he's on the radio? No, is it because I'm on the radio? Find, what I find sexy in men is when they're original and they take yeah. chances and they're risky yeah. and they you know they do stuff and they don't really care what everyone else thinks. Would and you be not copiers? Would you be too intimidated to date her? No. No. I could date you. I'm telling you, I could make you so happy. We have fun. We would have a lot of fun together. You're funny. I'm a funny guy and yeah. I love you know I love just. Do you like to just hang out? Yeah. Totally. And relax totally. and not be on all the time. Right. Me and then too. watch a video in bed and the whole thing. You like that? Exactly. You, you oh, like to I do some it. romantic stuff. Oh, I'm very romantic. We go out to dinner. I treat you right. And believe me, what I lack in a genital size, <laughs> I make up with uh, with my mouth. Do you mind that? Oh, I have uh, a picture <laughs> of Brett's penis with me. With really? a, yeah, you have a picture of Brett's penis? <laughs> yes. Let me see it. It's Let me my see wallet it. picture. Let me see what it is. You know, Let me see that. Your this is your boyfriend's genitals. Let me yes. take a look at that, and I'll tell you how I match up. Okay. Wait a second. I've got to I love to have fun. Do you, love to, eat, do you like to eat tuna plain? Oh. 
Okay, wait. Uh, okay, I don't know. Uh, right out of the can I eat it. Right out of the can I eat it. <laughs> on a, do you really want to see this? Yeah, let me see Let me bread. show Robin first. No, yeah, no, no. Let no let don't let her see that first. I want to see Robin. that. <laughs> well, don't go away. All right, go away so I can look at you from behind. Look at your ass. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Look at the Howard, body gonna, You don't want to see that. Really? Is it that big? Let me see it. Is it like a snake? Wait, is this the one I saw? That's incredible. Boy, you really are. Yeah, no guy lets you take a picture of it unless it's big. Let me see. It's two pictures taped together. Oh, wow. Is Look that... at that. Wait a second. Is that really his? Yes. Look at his stomach. That's well, his stomach. oh, he's fully aroused, right? Yes. So. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm as oh, big sure. as that. Oh, sure. You look like I am that, as right? big as that. That's not sure. that big. I'm, I consider that small. Oh, please. He's oh, not that big. Tea. That's not that big. It's perfect. You're always saying that you don't have a... What do you have, girth or... Oh, you don't have length. You have girth, right? I have everything right. that she needs. <laughs> that, guy, that guy's used to uh, getting a woman like you. He's not going to treat you the way you should be treated. She I like you. And you're smart. I like you that, too. Are you I smart? Know. I hope so. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Here, I'll test you. You ready? Okay. The vice president of the United States. What's his first name? L. What? L. Al, right. Yes. That's right. Okay, that's the end of my test, right? Don't Who ask me anything the, else on my head. <laughs> who's the president of Russia? I don't know. You don't really know? No, I don't. Oh, Gel Gelson, whatever his name Close is. Close enough. Oh, it's Yeltsin. That's Yeltsin. 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 You know. Thank you, thank you, thank Listen, you. Listen, and you could carry around and a I'm picture. Blonde. You could carry around a picture of my nose instead of my penis because that's it's not that impressive. It's about as big. <laughs> your nose isn't that big. My mom's nose is bigger than yours. Really? Yes. Would you get a nose job or something? No. You're just no. born this way. No, I have my grandma's nose, I guess. Oh, yeah. Nose is skip a generation or something. They do. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> so when you were in high school, mm -hmm. I can't believe you're not wearing panties. <laughs> Don't, but those are very sheer pants. Don't don't They're things sheer. don't hairs stick through? Oh, oh stop! No, no, well, there's nothing wrong with saying that. Are you open to everything sexually? In other words, not, I'm not bisexual. No, I don't mean that. Okay. I mean all uh, all three inputs. Three inputs? <laughs> sure. You are? Wow. Ooh. Heck. Wow. No kidding. I don't exactly know what that means, but oh, sure. Oh, I think you know what that means. <laughs> Want to see? I got you something. <laughs> she knows what funny. it means. <laughs> this is really funny. Playboy is like merchandising all this stuff. I'm actually on a pool cue. Look. Let me see. Really? Wow. Want it? Yeah, sure. I got a pool table. <laughs> I'd like you to lay down on that pool table. I would oh, love to. You. I would I, I would explode if I made love to you. I would explode. I would go insane. Eventually, I hope. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> look that at that. You're idea? on a pool cue. <laughs> Isn't so, that funny? I'm on a pool cue. So what does Playboy give you? Like 100 grand or something for that? No. No, not that much? Mm -mm, I didn't get that much. I'm not worth that much. Well, so why uh, do it then? You are worth that much. Isn't what are that? you talking about? You got prob you're probably the most beautiful woman in Hollywood at this oh, point. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> no. Who do you think's prettier? You think Sharon Stone is better than you? She's not. She's looking old. I don't know. I don't know. Who do you think is prettier? I'm going to put you in my Heather comedy. Heather Locklear. Nah. Heather Locklear is prettier than you? Yeah. She's nah. Beautiful. She's nah. Beautiful. Heather Locklear. She's those are, older. <laughs> those are your real teeth, right? Yeah. Yeah, those are on Heather's. Braces. Heather's, got a, Heather's got a couple of pieces of plastic in there. She's got George Washington's teeth. teeth. Yeah. My mother has no teeth. I don't know what happened. I mean, what I think what your no. mother sounds like a man. Well, your no, mother has a big nose. She's beautiful. Your mother has a big nose and no teeth? No. What is she, the Wicked Witch of the West? No, no, God, please. All right, so you grow up in Vancouver. Ca uh, Canada. Mom, I love you. You're the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> she and is. You, you, obviously, you, you're growing up, and at what age do you start to develop breasts? I didn't. I was very. I was a gymnast my whole life, so I didn't oh, even no get wonder. my period until I was 18. Oh, that's so sexy. I didn't, oh, I didn't Howard, develop until I was 18. With you? Oh, a girl. Oh, she's this beautiful and no period. <laughs> oh, is that oh, cute? Until I was 18. Oh, you are so, so cute. Wacky. You see, that's why you got a great body. You were a gymnast. A gymnast, yeah. Could you do like a headstand and stuff? Yeah. You can? <laughs> can you do something in here right now? Could you show us can something? Can do a flip? Yeah. 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 No, come on. I'll do I a back bend. I can do a back bend. Let's move, see. Move the chair. Hold on. I got to see okay, that. wait. Well, my whole vest will pop open. I oh, yeah. Like, fire. that would be horrible. Do a back bend. I'll pass out. I haven't no, done you so won't. Long. Okay, if I break my back, how am I gonna work? Oh, that show you could just be wheeled in a gurney. Wait, there's a yeah, camera there's a just camera moved towards me. It's getting ready to shoot you do a back bend. Like like, Are you gonna do a back bend or not? Come on. I can do a back bend. Let me see it. Okay. I just want to see that vest pop open. What's the big deal? <laughs> can't wait. You've this got vest some is... ass. Wait, You've got an ass. See, look, can I? It's already popping see. open. I don't even have to. Oh. I breathe oh. and it opens. I'm aroused. Do I have to do the back bend? You don't have to. Okay, good. Because look it. Oh. Try Is there back something then. else you can do, like put your your <laughs> her breasts are popping out oh, of her? Stop it! Those, you have a a, a a vest on, and that's all, and your breasts and a, and are popping out. 
And the Wonder Bra. And the Wonder Bra and the, uh, is bursting, and so is the best. <laughs> well, that's what I was trying to tell you yesterday, that her body is just like sort of, it's always bursting forth. And how come my <laughs> wife, when she wears a vest, you see bra straps hanging off to the side? I'm, I'm pushing them in because that's, I don't like is that. that what you, you maintain yourself while you wear a vest like that. My wife, she lets bra straps hang off and all kinds of don't stuff. Don't you think that's sexy? Can you do a split? <laughs> yeah. Can I see that? Oh God! I don't. But these pants. What if I ruin these pants? I might split <laughs> That's the, the idea, oh, baby. Oh, uh, you can't put your foot, uh, your leg up beside. Uh, you know, around my head. Yeah, one of those things. Can I, I touch your buttocks? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, sorry. Okay, so anyway, I was talking to Jackie. We're just all right, anyway. to get some gymnastics. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm just throwing in anything I can. Yeah. All right, no, wait a in second. In the negotiations. Let me, let me get something straight. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of my facial hair? I have to grow it from the movie. Why are you growing a beard? I, I'm doing the beard. I just got I, Brett to shave his goatee. No, they want me to grow a mustache for the movie, but I thought it would look better with a goatee, and I'll shave the goatee off when we start shooting. It doesn't look that bad because you're not really hairy or really dark yeah. hair, so it's not, it doesn't look really coarse. It looks I'm much better looking than this. <laughs> Right, Robin? Tell her. Oh, you're So beautiful. say something serious. You're beautiful. Right. <laughs> it looks good. No, it looks good. Brett looks That's like right. a girl. He does not. I look like a man. I'm uh, manly. Look at your long... You have long hair. Yeah, but I'm masculine. All right, so... Uh, so. Well, wait a minute. I got to know what I, happened with you and Scott Baio. Oh, How could you go out with a dick like this? that? What's him? Hey, hey, who is Scott Baio? Well, I'll, he's the one who introduced me to you. He used to go be in oh, the bathroom Oh, he's a good a guy. Lot. I dig him. <laughs> he's a pretty good actor, though. Yeah. Right, he used to be right. in the bathroom a lot and he used to play Nintendo when he's going to the bathroom and he'd listen to Howard Stern and I always wonder what is he doing in there because he's always laughing behind this closed door and finally I got in there and I that's when I was introduced to Scott you. Scott Bay was actually kind of funny when we had that girl on from Joni Loves Chachi. Yeah. Yes. What's her name? Uh, Aaron, Aaron Moran. Aaron Moran and she was saying that be Scott Bay was no good in bed. Uh huh. He, quick. What? She said he was quick. He was quick in bed. <laughs> is he quick in bed? <laughs> Oh, boy. No, I'll take that as a yes. All right. <laughs> so, so he called up and he goes, hey, what's she talking about? It was kind of funny, actually. Yeah. I forget. He was, he's okay. Oh, really? But they were, they were engaged. Scott Bale, was oh. your, how'd you meet him? I met him at the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> hangs out at the Playboy you know, Mansion. No, they don't. That's why I've you're not getting the right girls. Time. You would date me? Yeah. Right, let, me, let me get this piece of apple out of my face. <laughs> you would date me? <laughs> But, you know, Howard, she's so amazing to look at. She really is. But, I mean, I don't want to sound like a horny old guy, but you ought to just get really close and just inhale a big whiff. Right. She, she smells she, good? She, she smells awesome. Yeah, I bet you don't stink at all. <laughs> do you go to the... Do you, have you ever gone to the bathroom in front of Brett? Not yet. No. How long have you ever, have have you you ever passed wind? Have you a ever few months. Have you ever passed wind in his... You know, like, around him? Did you ever, like... No, I hope not. You know, I... <laughs> not on purpose. So you never do that. Like, that's why I tell my wife. I say, close the bathroom door. She I don't want to see you go to the bathroom. She's only known him a couple of months. If they're together yeah, forever, you'll do that. Yeah. Did you ever make no number two in front of Scott Baio? No. No. See, no. she's but a real girl. That's why I, I ever did it. That's why it didn't work. He used to say Pamela doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you do it. You're an angel. You're my girlfriend. I don't care what anyone says. You're gonna take her. <laughs> You're my girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me get this straight. So, you come out. You, so, you, mm -hmm. let me go back to uh, Vancouver. Okay. All right. I want. I want the whole story here. Okay. <laughs> so you go to. You're growing up in Vancouver, and your breasts and your period don't develop till like you're 18, and you're a late bloomer. But yet, guys are digging you. You're good looking even as a kid. I mean, things weren't that rough for you because everyone I wanted was an to athlete. know you. I was an athlete. I didn't care. I, I never even wore makeup in high school. And as you start to develop, is your father like freaking out? Like, oh my God. What am no. I going to do with no, this No, I think he was child? worried that I was never going to develop. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I don't think he... Okay, so... No, I was and, an athlete. Okay, so you start developing. Do any uncles like try to molest you and stuff? Oh, no. Because you're so good looking? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? No. no. <laughs> when you were at the Playboy Mansion, did James Conn try to get it on with you? No, he didn't. He didn't? No. Oh. Who else was there? That Fred Dreyer? Is he there? Fred was there. <laughs> He's there What about every OJ? Night. Did you know OJ over there? I never met OJ. Really? I thought I might have met him, but no, I never saw him up there. I don't think so. No. Yeah, better stay away from him. I was going to say, you're lucky. I can't get near him now. <laughs> yeah. So so you you um, leave Canada to be an actress at what age? I didn't really leave to come. I didn't come here to be an actress. I didn't know what I was doing. I was at a, um, a football game. Yeah. And then a cameraman discovered me in the stands and, and put me on a poster, a Labatt's Blue Zone poster, and Playboy saw me from that and flew me down to L.A. for a cover. October 89, that was the first thing I ever did. And you were on the cover, and then all of a sudden, what, people started calling you for jobs? Yeah. 
Now, where Tim did, Allen stuff, the home improvement? Well, they asked me to move down because they wanted me to be a playmate. I'd done a cover first. Right. October 89, and then February of 90, February of 90, I was a centerfold. So what age did you lose your virginity? Um, <laughs> about 16. No kidding. Mm -hmm. On the balance beam. No, in a car. Older, older guy? Oh. In a car. Oh. Older guy? I love cars. Cars are great. Oh. <laughs> and, you hadn't, and you hadn't even had your period yet right. at 16. Right. Oh, that's the best. Oh, you. That's the best. That's so feminine. But I'm just what? wondering about that's these people at Playboy who just have people like looking at posters from all over. So that Playboy is like the horniest people. guys they get. They're just running around looking at posters well, from Ken Vancouver. Honey. Ken Honey is the one who discovered me. He's the one who You hardly know the guy. You think you should be calling him Honey? <laughs> yeah, I thought you had a boyfriend. Honey. Ken oh, Ken Honey, honey yes. <laughs> so he discovered you. You owe him. <laughs> no. All right, so uh, did you sleep with Ken? <laughs> no. No. Uh, you, so you say you did not. No, Are you willing to take a lie detector test? No. Yes, I'm All right. Okay. And you've never encountered a cast, casting I've only, couch? I've only had to do it a couple times. Uh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so wait a second. I bypassed all that. I was real lucky. And, so you, you know. you're with a guy at 16, and this guy gets in a car, and is he freaking out when you are revealed to him? I mean, in all your naked beauty? I mean, is this guy like, are guys like flipping out over you? I wasn't much to look at. It's really? I, I, like everyone's, I, I doubt that. She I doesn't little really boy. know, I don't think. I see. She's boy. packing. All right, <laughs> what so notes are you writing to? We're just slipping each other a okay, piece of paper. Okay. All right, take it easy. So anyway, then you... So, so, it's like okay. school in here. So <laughs> then you... This is great. Let me get this straight. You sure? It's still great? Yes. Right. Yeah, I love this. You want to audition for my movie right now? <laughs> I've got a... He script. has a scene. I have a scene in mind for you. Is it naked? No. Okay, good. Totally dressed. It's called Teacher Student. It's the scene. Teacher, student. Okay. I'm the student. You're the, an acting teacher. And I'm an acting teacher. Yes. Oh, great. Okay. And you have to teach. You have to prepare. Here, let me describe the scene to you. <laughs> I'm gonna be really bad. All right. You're the teacher. Okay. You've just graduated from I college with a degree in drama. Okay. <laughs> you work as an assistant acting teacher in an off-Broadway production. Now, to earn extra money, you decide to give private acting lessons. Okay. And I, okay this so is I, your motivation. All right. I guess I'm, I'm describing the scene to you. This is, this is serious. Okay. I'm being serious. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're a fresh. Now I'm a freshman college student. All right. Mm. She just graduated. Yeah. She, I'm a freshman. So there's so not a lot of difference in yeah. your ages. Yeah, not a lot, but oh, okay. I'm younger. Okay. I play much younger. I'm the older mm. woman. On film, I look younger. <laughs> you excel in academic classes, but have difficulty in your favorite class. I have difficulty in my favorite class, which is drama. Okay. Okay. So I see on a school bulletin board an ad for a private acting teacher, which is you. All right? I call and schedule an appointment. I knock at your door, and when I open it, a very pretty young woman is standing there in the hall. We exchange introductions. All right? I'm Howard. You're Pamela. All right? There we go. And, um... Hello? <clears throat> this is a big setup. Yes. Oh, we have sound effects and everything. <laughs> we sit down to review the script, and I point out the part that I'm having difficulty with, because I'm embarrassed. I explain that it involves a kissing scene. Oh. See, well, mm -hmm. why? Well, do you have a problem with that? No. Oh, okay, good. You're a professional. Mm -hmm. And he's never, uh, I've never been kissed before. I've never even been kissed. What? In your real life? That's right. Now, you're a professional, and you know your job calls for varied teaching methods. Okay. What does that mean? Well, she's going to... about this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now here. Here's your script. You okay. are a teacher. That we're, the I lines am a teacher. Aren't okay, now stand next. Let's stand next to each other when we do it. Yeah. What do you say? Look at this. You're not kissing properly. I'll make you the best kisser in this performance. Wait. Oh, God. Look Wait at a this. Second. <laughs> this, is a, this is a scene from the movie. Hi. She's rehearsing. I'm rehearsing. No, I'm <laughs> See the line that says, and I've never had my we period? We have a lot of seagulls in the background. Here, come over here. Stand next to me. Do you mind standing so next to me and act? Watch. Do you really not want to act with me? I will. I'd love to. You would? Okay, let's act. All right, come over here. <clears throat> right, let's, let's try. Let's attempt this. Do I have Excellent. to keep my headphones on? No. Okay. You don't need headphones for this. Oh, ow. man. Oh, ow. ow. I don't know what's in this scene, but if he says, oh, man, <laughs> he must have no, a surprise. No, it's a good scene. It's a good scene. <laughs> in here somewhere. Pamela will like it. It's, it's a professional Hollywood scene. Sure. You haven't read it? You don't have to read it. Who wrote this? Be spontaneous. That's how actors and actresses You're should tall. be. You're tall. I can't even reach your lips. Am I too tall for you? You like guys tall, right? Hasselhoff is taller than you. Yeah. You like tall, gawky guys, right? Right. <laughs> right, now hold on here. I don't want to. Okay, here we go. You okay, ready? Yes. You're the teacher. Go ahead. Okay, wait. Let me just read the little beginning part because I'm trying to understand. Okay. So have you already kissed me? No, we haven't done anything. You're you're saying. We well, got... how does she know that you're not a good kisser? Okay. Yeah. Then how do I we know you're not kissing scene, properly? And I just 
I go to kiss you, but I kiss your cheek, and you're saying, oh. Oh, you're not you're, kissing properly. Okay, go ahead. I'll make you the best kisser in this performance. No, 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 get close to the mic. Say this better. She knows how to act, because you know how you're not supposed to project that much. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I'm She's like, just tossing yeah, off the line. Well, he's got to get close to the mic. <laughs> yeah, all right, let me, hear you ki- let me hear you say that line again. I have to... Right. Okay, you're not kissing properly. I'll make you the best kisser in this performance. You really think you can help me? I can be the best kisser in the whole world? I'm so embarrassed. I, I just can't believe it. Well, there it. are different types of kisses. Some are friendly, like this. Right, let me... Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay, that was... I did that pretty good, right, teacher? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also, a kiss on the cheek. Now, some are caring. I want you to try a short kiss on the lips. A short kiss on the lips? Yes. I'm so embarrassed. I've never done this before. Okay. Right. Why are you diving for her while you say that? <laughs> How was that, teacher? <laughs> oh. Okay, now here's, here's a really hard one. Let's see if you can do it. Some kisses are passionate. A long kiss on the lips. A long kiss on the lips. Yes. Is this how you're auditioning all your... No, no, this okay. is a serious scene. So you want me to French kiss you while I grab your beef cheeks? Oh, jeez. <laughs> is that what you're saying, teacher? <laughs> okay, yes, try it. And then, okay, look at you're, you're skipping the line. No, I said, do you what want... What are you doing? I, okay, oh, 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 I see. We're going to try a long, passionate kiss, a kiss on the lips. Can I... Do I grab your beef cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> beef cheeks. Okay, try it. All right. And then there's lo- the slow, long French kiss. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. If you stick your tongue in my mouth, Brett will kill you. <laughs> all, right, all right, take it easy. I know how to make it look like a French kiss. Okay, okay. All right, I'm not sure how, how to do this. How do you make this, this look I'm like working. a French kiss? You've been practicing. I'm very practicing. nervous. I'm very nervous. We're working. All right, here we go. Yes. Tell me how I do. Okay, here. Okay. wait, oh, wait. Let me see what my next line is. <laughs> Come here. You ready? Yes. <laughs> Come, wait, come on, I'm just getting into it. <laughs> you pulled effects. away. Why'd you pull away? I heard the squishy sound effects. <laughs> Continue reading. Why'd you pull away? <laughs> okay, she that's okay. Away. This isn't my first. I know what to do. Just follow me and I'll show you ecstasy. You know, wow. I'm clean. I'm cleaner than you are. I, I've, I've slept with the same woman for 20 years. <laughs> but you kiss everybody who comes in. Maybe that's no, yeah, I you don't. Know. I do not. I never kiss anybody. And you have professionals coming here. All right, go ahead. So what is this? Okay, oh, okay. I'm very nervous. I've never been with a woman before, at least not all the way. That's okay. This isn't my first. I know what to do. Just follow me and I'll show you ecstasy. Okay. Show me ecstasy. Show me <laughs> this ecstasy. This is just the beginning. Class hasn't even started yet. Oh, I tell you, this is no kind of acting. She can't be the <laughs> No, she didn't get romantic. a chance to read no, it. it. You want to try again? No. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess you weren't very good, Howard. Oh. Hey, how was that kiss? Was it good? Was it, it was good? great. It was very sweet. No, it was you, very that's, gentle. That's she why really, she wants to do it again. She was so turned off. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I and wasn't. You were turned off. No, you know what turned me off? What? The sound effects. Fred, you jerk. Fred, <laughs> turn me off. Don't blame it, I, you, I don't turn you on. I know it now. No, you do. You're very sweet. I like your lips. So. Yeah, sure. That's why she's running away. That's why she was rubbing her ass and running away. <laughs> Am I, I that grotesque? Am I that grotesque that no. you, you hated doing a love scene with me? No. You pulled back. Well. So that means I'm grotesque, right? No, I didn't pull back. The only reason I pulled back is because of Fred. I don't buy that. And I'm serious. I heard squish, squish, squish. <laughs> hey, Robin, where am I sleeping tonight? Now that uh, I just did a love scene. Look, I'll tell you one thing. You better be glad well, E doesn't come to your house. Fred's coming in town I tonight. Must be, I must be really bad because <laughs> no, Pam no. pulled her head way back. No. Well, you made me nervous. Well, that long passage. Did you think I was going to slip my tongue to you? No, I knew you weren't because you said you were. Sure, I was just that about to. That long passionate kiss was very short. <laughs> All right. I blew the audition. Damn it. Yeah. All right. You'll see when my movie grosses over two hundred million dollars, you'll be sorry. All right. Now let's get back to you. Damn, you're a good kisser. Oh, I'd do anything to sleep with you. No, you wouldn't. Can I see your feet? My feet. Yeah. Thanks. Let me see if they're cute. Even your feet are cute. Oh, you have a toe ring. That is cute. You can wear a toe ring inside your shoes? A girl with a toe ring. Oh, she's so cute. (laughs) Ralph's dying out there. Oh, I know. Hey, Ralph, want to come look at Pam? I got a friend. Can he come and look at you just for a second? (laughs) Meet you. Why don't you say that? I mean, can can he come and meet you for a second? Yeah. Take a look. She's going to like it. (laughs) (laughs) Look at you, you retard. You'll never get anything close to her. Just the scranks you go with. What is that? I said, I am busy, as is everybody else. Find out one there. imperfection yeah, on her. Find the imperfection. Go I ahead. Can't. You're Mr. Perfect. Go ahead. Find the imperfection. Ralph has already said to me, you have me. to be. <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> he doesn't even I, know. You're so good looking, it's scary. He can't look at you. <laughs> you stupid nitwit. <laughs> but he's already said to me that he can't even imagine the kind of man who could go Wait. up to Pamela and say, hello, I'd like to take you hey, out. Hey, dude, I was yeah. just kissing her. 
She pulled away though. No, no. no. Not she, because of Howard. Shut he's up, you idiot. Lips. That was you, very you know, not because of me, because of Fred. You know, Gary asked me, he goes, do you want her to sign the poster or the uh, the magazine? It took me a good 20 minutes, half an hour to decide which one. All right, just get out of here. Uh, <laughs> Pamela's makeup person would like to come in and touch up her makeup since she's been kissing. Oh, no. Touch up her lipstick. No. no. Yeah. Perfect. Alan, she doesn't, you don't have to touch. It's perfect. He's a huge fan of yours, by the way. He's, he's one of the makeup artists. My other makeup artist back home was Alexis, and we always listen to you every single day. So let me get this straight. You leave Vancouver, yeah. you come to Playboy, and you're at the Playboy Mansion, and mm -hmm. the first celebrity you meet is Scott Bayo, the kid from Joni Loves Chachi. He's not the first celebrity. No, I met a lot of celebrities. Like, who'd night. you meet? Who did I meet? I met, I don't know, there was just, every you know, everybody that normally hangs up that... Uh, but you don't know who's there. <laughs> and James Caan, and James and Tony like always Curtis. there. There's Tony, Tony Curtis. Curtis. Yeah, there's Ascot and Blue Velvet Smoking. I saw, I went out to Los Angeles, the last time I went out to Los Angeles, I went to dinner, and I see... Tony Curtis walk in, I go, hey, there's Tony Curtis's grandfather. <laughs> and he's got an ascot on, yeah. and he's all affected. It's the maitre d'. Yeah, like the maitre d'. Like he's, all, he's like dressed like a Hollywood guy. They need to get some new people at Playboy. Tony Curtis. I know. I invested in a restaurant in L.A. You did? Yeah, it's called Sanctuary. You have to come to it. What kind of money are you making? I hear Not Baywatch doesn't pay that much. No, Baywatch doesn't even pay for my hair and makeup. You're kidding. Baywatch doesn't pay for your hair and makeup? Nope. You come to I work? I pay for it myself. And you have to provide hair and makeup? Mm-hmm. You're kidding I, me. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't... <laughs> you might as well be working here. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make it to... I mean, I, I'm... It's it's kind of scary because um, they don't have security or anything, so... Yeah. I, I get followed home by so many people. All It's getting real scary. <laughs> and like, me, Jackie, and Fred are going to follow you. For the last six months. Are you being stalked and stuff? Yeah, by a lot of people right wow. now. Really? And, but they told my manager that they're not responsible for me off the set. <gasps> they're so You're sweet. You're kidding. I know. That's the only thing. I never. All the other actors ask for more money, bigger trailer. Everything. I don't ask for anything. So I just want to feel safe at work. So what's the matter I, I with may them? Die by the end of the And aren't they making money? They're making a lot of money. Yeah, but the, the show's only on in 140 countries. Right. I know. You can't so, afford so the they can't security. Their, they yeah. said it's not in the budget to so look after me. So are you under? Set. Are you under contract for a real long time? No. No, I, I have one more year left in my contract. But Will you stay with the show, you think? I love the show. I love working on the show. I love that it's, you know, very... You should wear more bikinis and thongs. They can't. You can't wear thongs on there because of... Um, in England, I guess. They, they can have nudity in their newspapers in England, but if you have, wear a G-string on TV, it's bad. Really? Yeah, isn't that strange? So you very can't wear strange, the English. But you wear, sometimes you wear one piece, I get very angry at the show. Because I well, tune in to see it's you. A lifeguard, it's a lifeguard show. You do. You said that to... Who'd you say? Nicole. Nicole, Nicole and Yasmin. And Yasmin. No, Yasmin I hadn't even seen yet. <laughs> <laughs> and Nicole... It feels so special. <laughs> now, I heard Nicole got her breast implants and she had them taken out. Is that right? I don't know. I haven't seen her since... Well, I, no, I have seen her. Um, Did her breasts look smaller? They look smaller, yeah. They do? Mm -hmm. Why would someone get their breast implants taken out? That's a sin. I think she got smaller ones. Really? Mm -hmm. And what ab and what about um, when you uh, see her leave the show, you laugh at her, right? That's a stupid uh, mistake. Well, thing, well, the show is so popular. That's why, you know, I have nothing against the show. The only the only reason I would ever leave the show is if I didn't feel safe at the show, because it's not worth risking my life over. No. You mean like fans just come running up and start grabbing you and stuff? Yeah, well, it's pretty good on the set. It's just when I leave, I get scared because and no they're one, all there. no one escorts you home. No one takes me home. That's all I wanted was someone to just take me home because I get. I'm staying in a hotel right now. I'm living in a hotel for a couple months until January first. Oh, that's my house so sexy. Remodeled. Oh, that's so sexy. So they look after me there. Oh, really? Yeah, I get out of the. I get. And out where's of the Brett? That big pussy. Why doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he uh, can come get yeah, you. He does. He does. He does. He looks after me. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. What's he doing with you? How'd you meet him? I met him because he invested in the restaurant too, and then we met at like a business meeting, kind of. Hmm. So let me get this straight: Do you ever like look at yourself in the mirror naked, and like like do you just look at yourself for like a real long time? Just to well, not for a long time. But do you ever like evaluate your own body and stuff? Are you amazed well, by I'm, your own beauty? I'm in a bathing suit way too much. I see myself naked and in a bathing suit a lot. When you pose for Playboy, like did you, like look at yourself naked a lot and practice like looking sexy in the mirror? No, I just look at Polaroids after they shoot. Because, you know, anyone can look at They just have to turn you a certain way. And, I mean, and airbrush you. I'm not, this is the unairbrushed version. Right. And you and you, <laughs> oh, and you eat anything all day, or you just pretty much starve I eat a yourself? Lot. Just, you and I, you know what? I've gained 10 pounds in the last month, and I've been trying your diet. Yes. What and happened? You gained weight and you gained weight? <laughs> <laughs> I listened to you one day talk about all the stuff that you eat, and I thought, that's really good. I, no, I've no. cut way down. I, I, for the smell, my cut way down. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I eat a can of tuna much. fish and a piece of bread. I, you know, bread? Bread. <laughs> bread. No, bread. I don't eat bread. That's your job. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh, boy. Listen to me. No. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to the Playboy Mansion, and you meet the guy, Scott Bale. And what do you do? You go sleep with him the first night? 
No, but I did go home with him the first night. You did? And I never do that. And what'd you do? You made out and no, stuff? No, we just slept together. You slept really? together in the, in the same, same bed? bed. Close. Whose idea was that? Well, both of ours. <laughs> and then did he say, come on, I'm really horny, you gotta no, help me out here? No, He was like a gentleman. He was a gentleman. See, that's a cool move. I See, did that once. See, that's what I'm thinking, well, that's not that about he Scott. did that. I did that. Why not? How come you're real bitter? No, no, not bitter at all. I you don't want to give great. him the attention? Something happened there. Bread. Something must have happened. You dumped Something him? Something happened there. No, no he nothing. dumped you. I'm, I'm totally cool with it. I'm you wanted. Totally you were in love with him? Yeah. You wanted to marry him? And then all at of a sudden, one time I did. And then the he backed out. Engagement was broken off. How could he back well, out? Well, we hadn't seen you? we hadn't seen each other for a couple of years, and then when we got engaged, it was kind of I'd given up on, you know, Hollywood and all the men I'd met. I just thought God. It was well, disgusting. Maybe, it was disgusting. It really is. It's terrible there. And so because all the men Scott, you met were just scoring with you and then and dumping was, you off. Well, it's just I don't know. It just wasn't very fulfilling, and I just thought that Scott. Me. <laughs> I thought that he really loved me because you know I was with him from the very beginning, and we were with you together a long time, and I just. I said I would marry him, but then we decided that we didn't really know each other. That huh. we, we have he nothing decided. in common. We have nothing in common. So it was good you didn't get married. It was great we didn't get married. It's no. just physical attraction. Mm. It was just a nice, it was comfortable. If he called you now and said, I want to get back with you and I want to marry you, you wouldn't, no. he wouldn't have no. to really work on that. No, no, no. I would never, no, I wouldn't go back out with him. You're into a wilder scene, aren't you? No. The only, well, mm -hmm. Brett, but I mean, we don't really, we stay home. We don't you smoke pot? No. Hash? No. <laughs> you do muscle? Acid? <laughs> Ecstasy. Ecstasy. My brother smokes enough pot for both of us. <laughs> Is that right? It's good for him. <laughs> Must be a cousin of Jackie. Hey. Well, anyway. So then you meet him at the Playboy Mansion and you break up. And then after you break up, what other celebrities do you date? Not really anybody. Just a couple. Just I... Um, just, I dated a couple guys that weren't really doing anything before I met them, and then they started working. And so then, I don't know, these current affairs, all these tabloid shows keep putting all these people together that I've dated, you know, two or three times. Right. I have less dates than any of my girlfriends. All my friends that aren't in the business date all the time, and I'm always over at their house because right. I'm lonely. So how long does it take, like, Scott Bayo to score with you? Does it, you have to you make him wait a night or, like, a, a couple of weeks? A couple weeks. You did? Yeah, with Scott. But and you kept dating? Normally it takes longer than that. It does? Yeah. For Scott Bayo, it's only a couple of weeks. <laughs> Cool. Well, he What's really matter, liked me. <laughs> you know, she, uh, he waited I, for me. I guess one of the guys that she dated that got more famous later was that guy that hosts uh, MTV's The Grind. Oh, oh you, you dated, dated him? him? Eric Nies? No. Oh, you dated him? You did? Oh, Ew. God. Well, what? Oh, I could definitely get you that. <laughs> and she was, and, and you guys, man, I, I, you know what? I just, I'm, I want to get married and I want to settle down and have kids. Me too. That's what I want. I went through a year of dating last year. I, I didn't really know what else to do. I just said, I'm not going to meet. Yeah, but I'm Brett's not going to settle down and get married. You nah, should meet, you know what you should so. put, you, yeah, you need a guy who's serious a about it. A regular you. guy. You need a guy. <laughs> I love to meet, well. Well, I'm here. I mean, you, you know, and then you pull back when I kiss you. <laughs> I'll get a divorce. I, I could get a quickie back. divorce. I did not pull back. Divorce. pull back. I get a quickie divorce. <laughs> Settle up we my need affairs. You to pull back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So everybody, calm down. <clears throat> <laughs> so all right, so that relationship with Scott Bayo and da, 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 you go you go out with a couple of guys, and then it's this uh, Brett. Brett character. Yeah. So you're in love again now. And what does he do? He's got so much money, he just hangs around with you all day, right? Does he come to the set of Baywatch? He works. He rehearses. He's come to the set a few times, but he works a lot. He's he does? rehearsing right now. They got a new album. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. It's I haven't good. seen him around. So as soon as he goes off on tour, that'll be the end of that. I hope his career well, falls apart so he can't have Pam man. anymore. I don't know. See, we hardly ever see each other. I travel. When I'm not working, I'm traveling all the time. And he's traveling all the time. Yeah. He's no husband material. Let me tell you. No. A, a, a husband is a guy who won't let you carry a picture of his wiener in your wallet. Oh, is that right? When a guy's like, you see, here's a picture of my penis. Carry take it in your wallet. You? I took the picture and I kept it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you guys take pictures of each other when you're in the sack? No. What I'm is he carrying of you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing. He, and he does everything to you? Like he pleasures you for a long time? Yeah. Really? Hmm. Well, all right. And you have multiple <laughs> orgasm with him? Multiple orgasm. Yeah. What age were you when you had your first orgasm? Probably around 17. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe before that. Really? <laughs> I know one of these days my wife's going to have one. Yeah, uh, any time now. Yeah. <laughs> Do a yeah, I'll show you a picture. All right, so Pam, then you go to Playboy. So Playboy pitches you on doing this uh, photo shoot. Yeah. You say, hey, let's do it. I got a great body. I got a great It face. never, uh, you know, you were like ready to do this. You didn't have a problem with it, was well, it? Well, when I was a playmate? No, uh. God. When I did my, um, my, my first cover, I was in tears the whole time. They had to, only took two rolls of film. I was devastated. I thought, there could, someone's going to see me underneath here. And I was wearing a jacket. And your parents were, were upset by you being no, naked? No, no. My mom, I, when they asked me to be a playmate, I talked to my mom, and she said she would do it. Did your dad see the pictures? Yeah. 
was he like, whoa? I mean, wonder, like, does, is your you dad show your dad you? those pictures? Wait, he's seen him. I mean, there's wow. pictures. He, do you think he's attracted to you in some way? I mean, no. if you were my daughter, I'd have to make love to you. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh nice. Oh, that's I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> yes, <You're> sicko. <laughs> I think after I think after you were in Playboy, he knocked out your mom's teeth. <laughs> That's why she doesn't have any teeth and she has a big nose. My dad doesn't have any teeth either. Really? What's the story? Why don't you buy him some teeth? teeth? You got money. No, they have teeth. Oh, they have false teeth. Yeah. Okay. All right. They just don't have the real ones. Well, what's the story the on that? Don't they know how to brush their gums? I don't know. Me and my brother have these big horse teeth. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Those big are some Viking horse. heads and... I don't know what happened. We just look different than our parents. I see. So we look the, exactly alike. And when you go to the Playboy shoot, like who grooms? Like like, did you have to like shave down and everything? Who tells you I how to grow groom in. yourself? Like you grew, you groom in, you groomed really nicely. Did someone professionally groom you down there, or I had to let it grow in? You had to let it grow in. You mean yeah. you're usually completely shaved? Yeah. <gasps> oh man, why are you completely shaved usually? <laughs> it just season. makes you feel better. On my off season for playing boy. <laughs> you like to be completely shaved? Yeah. It's just what feels free, and you hate and you hate body hair, right? So do I. I don't like body hair. No. Me neither. And does Brett get you to shave you? You do have so much in common, so Brett, and Scott didn't. Does Brett get to shave you, or do you just shave oh, it yourself? God. Can you really talk about this? Yeah, of course you're allowed to. Yeah, once. He did? Mm. Scott did that? No, no Brett. Brett did. Okay, no. I'm getting confused. I got a feeling Scott might have done that, too. <laughs> no. So when you, when you, just in your regular off hours, you're completely shaved. Right. Because you just feel sexier. Yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> uh, you are a woman and a half. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I think you do. I think you understand everything I'm saying. You know, there's a scene in my movie where I shave an actress. <laughs> so, so. The scene so for Playboy, is going up again. So, even though you, you're completely clean shaven, Playboy said to you, please grow some hair in? No, I just want, I'd rather, I, you know. For the pictures, you'd rather pictures, have hair. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Interesting that you would. And that is not dyed, that hair. No. No. Wow. Well, wow. wow. That's amazing. <laughs> You're as bald as a baby's bottom. I like that note. Who wrote that? Was that Fred? Yes. Someone just sent you that little... <laughs> little Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. <clears throat> I think I got everything straight. <laughs> I think you're straight. straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Playboy is... I, I can't take you Why is Pamela here? here? I don't even know why Pamela is here. All right, Playboy is out. She has posed for some rather provocative... This is my favorite. Hey, you know, I did another thing, though. I What'd did you do? a CBS movie of the week where I play um, Velda. The cr it's kind of a quirkier role. It's a comedy, so... Are that's you that's naked? better than everything. No. Oh. But right. I wear men's suits and, and my hair up and glasses and stuff. It's a totally different role, but it's funny. Like When, when is this going to air? Like in... Well, not till like, the end of November, December. End of November, December? Mm -hmm. We have to come back and promote I that. I've done a lot of stuff. Yeah, we were talking about your resume earlier. Yeah, like all of a sudden you just started acting. So and what I'm happened? You were good. you were on Home Improvement with Tim Allen, but you dumped yeah. that. That was kind of a bold move. Man, I love Tim Allen. Tim, he's one of my favorite people. Yeah, and he never came on to you. No, tons of sexual harassment on that set, but <laughs> not not <laughs> not for real. I think I harassed and him more. Than and wasn't that kind of a bold move to leave Home Improvement, which is a big number one show? Yeah, but I had one line of show. Yeah, and that's ridiculous. Know? And I just thought that if I'm going to do this for any length of time, I might as well try and do it somewhere. You know, even in Baywatch, I thought, okay, Baywatch, not a lot of people see Baywatch. I was thinking in America. Right. And then I find out it's in over 100 countries, so I'm screwing up in front of you know, billion, <laughs> a billion people a week, so that really made sense. Right. You're not screwing up. Oh, You're doing fine. You know, I'm going to you know, put you... I'm, focus, I have, a, I have big plans for you. If it's in focus, they print. There's no take two. I'm going to take you places. Okay. This is what every woman I should look you. like. <laughs> look at that picture. Look at those lips. <laughs> look at the fullness of your lips. That's what gets me. Those are not collagen? No. Wow. No. Look at those lips. What I would do to those, they would be messed up. Oh, jeez. Your lips would look like <laughs> like garbage pails when I was done with you. Well, that's what? nice. You need to make a person <laughs> that's all the nice. time. Yeah, right. You need to make a... You'd be, you would be smudged. Your lips would be smudged be all the time. touch-ups in bed. Huh? Constant touch-ups. <laughs> I do while I'm doing all the time and my lipstick doesn't come off. It doesn't? Mm -mm. No, your lipstick is fine. You're a real girl. You, you don't know how to keep that lipstick on. Oh, <laughs> Man, oh those are some lips. Do you enjoy doing stuff to guys while they sort of just lay back? Yeah. You do? Uh -huh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Let's hug goodbye. Is she answered anything wrong? I have wrong? to leave. No, she answers oh, everything she right. Answers everything wrong. You don't have to leave. You want to stay? Yeah. You do really? Yeah. All right. Let's take a commercial break. Okay. And then we'll do our goodbyes when we get back. Okay. Okay. We'll be back right after these words. I love the music. Isn't that beautiful? That's my band. 
Howard Stern Band. He goes out on the weekends and yeah. plays. You want to dance? <laughs> this is like kind of a slow groove thing. Want to dance with me? I like this one. Would you like to dance with me? Okay. Really? Seriously? Sure. Come over. <laughs> you really would dance with me? I would dance with you. Oh, great. Okay, I'm dancing. Come on over. Like a slow dance, right? Hey, I'm well, going to dance. that's all you can do to this, Howard. Yeah, this is a slow dance, isn't it? Let's see how you dance. What? Can you come dance with me? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh. I'm dancing. <laughs> what? You know, we're in a commercial, How do I dance? Howard. You dance amazing. I dance good? You dance like you kiss. <laughs> what, really bad? And in other yeah, words, <laughs> she's trying to get out of your arms. We're in love, I'm telling you. This is a commercial? I, mean, I don't care. You do the commercial. What no one else can hear us. You needed action? As I've been away from my boyfriend for a couple days. I need a little action. Yeah, you're horny. Let me tell you something. Hey, I don't feel too uh, bad, do I? No, you feel hey, touch bad. my chest. Touch your chest? Yeah, hey, put your hand wow. under my shirt. Come on. Okay, Where's now. Hey, go ahead. Go under there. You need to shave Wait. your chest. What? You need to shave your chest. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to. No, I'm going to shave my <laughs> chest. With all that hair. Oh, I forgot to shave. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get back in your chair before I... Yes, no one else can hear this. You know, the other 18 cities. Oh, who cares? <laughs> the 18 cities. I'm dancing. Me and Pam uh, Anderson were just uh, dancing during the commercials. We were slow dancing. That was beautiful. How, how, how do we look together? I hate to say it, but you guys look great together. Really? <laughs> well, she would look great with anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really. Imagine walking into a party and, like, Pamela Anderson's on your arm. <laughs> Christ. I could use that. But you're not a very good dancer. Who? You. I could dance good. We didn't even have any music. That was wasn't great. good music. No, 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 no. You don't know how to dance. I wasn't dancing with her? No. What I'm was a I doing? Dancer. You're you're not a sexy dancer. What did you're I do like wrong? A husband. What did I do wrong? <laughs> don't, don't listen to her. Oh, what did I, oh, oh, I was dancing. Right. What was this? Just squeezing her ass. Arms around no, you got this back music going on with this like, you know, it's real grind music and you're going all right, let me get me that music that again. Both Maybe Robin I'm wants to come in. Give me that music. I think. She, what are you saying? Like, like, what should it. I have done? Show I me what I do. Supposed to do. Oh, you! If you don't have the moves, you don't have the moves. No, no, no. Hey. Show me. Oh, wait a second. Can I have a second chance? <laughs> Please. It was perfect for me. I felt very. It was nice. It was very. Yeah, romantic. most guys probably do dirty dancing with you. You don't want to grind it into. No, I, 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 maybe I blew it. No, you didn't. I feel like I blew it. No, you dance like you kiss. Bad. No. <laughs> gentle. Sweet. I'm too, I'm too gentle. Way. No, no. It's nice because you're a big man, so to be gentle like that is very sexy. Yeah, I'm telling you, I, when I caress a woman <laughs> when she's naked, and like I start, you know, kissing her thighs and everything and doing something that, you know, you really like, I, you can, I, I, I'm like a butterfly on you. I mean, you just, you ache That's from, the best. from almost the lack of touch. That's the best. Shut up, Jackie. What are you laughing about? That's the best. He's over the there lack snorting. Of touch is yeah, the best. I swear. Now he I'm knows you make you know love what I'm saying? like you did. I know. So that's the best. The lack of touch is the best. No, I just almost <laughs> I I go I glide over your body like a butterfly. That's the best. It's even better when you're not in a room. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you little jealous ass. <laughs> I, I have to admit it. But it's good to be that way sometimes, and then it's good to do so. <laughs> Yeah, really give it to you. I yeah. can do that too. I can deliver that. <laughs> so I dance lousy. Did I not give her a sexy dance? I thought I was doing the right well, thing. That's, that's how a guy would dance with his wife that he's been married to. Really? She years. was totally satisfied. No, she wasn't. Matter? She was uh, goofing on me. She, yeah, she's not, she's she doesn't want to leave this no, studio No, no, now. no. I'm serious. <laughs> Can I dance with you again? I like the last dance. You did? Uh, yeah, I did. Right, okay. I'm serious. All right. I'm not lying. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Pamela Anderson. Right. <laughs> how shall we say goodbye? I don't know. It's tough. Could I... Say goodbye. You, you know what? I got to point <laughs> but, out something yeah. here. Whenever you say, how do we say goodbye, the girls never say, Howard, can I kiss you and hug you? <laughs> no, I have to bring it. Can well, I kiss you and hug you? <laughs> Pam, can I kiss you and hug you goodbye? Yes. I can. Yes. Okay. Can, when I'm kissing and hugging you goodbye, <laughs> could I... Could I palm your ass like a basketball? Uh, <laughs> no, no. Could I, could I caress your bottom? I'd get in trouble. You would? Oh, are you kidding? Could I just... Touch your backside while I kiss you goodbye. <laughs> I'm just asking. I, you, you have every right to say no. I'm just asking if I may. I won't well, thanks even. Thanks for asking, but, but I can't. you can't do that. <laughs> I, I can I rub your trouble. leg? You can rub my leg. I can. Yeah. So while I'm kissing you, I can rub your leg. Yes. Which part of your leg? Do your upper thigh. Sure. Can I massage your legs while <laughs> I kiss you goodbye? It's gonna be a long goodbye. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 I'm just. I'm just <laughs> finding out how far I can days. go. <laughs> can I hold you like a bowling ball? Oh, <laughs> no. I mean seriously. Oh. 
Can I? Can, let me ask you something, Pam. Can yeah. I, Pam? Stay with me. Can I? <laughs> yeah, right. A lot of guys, you, a lot of bums you went out with didn't even ask. No. <laughs> all right. Here's all I want to do. Okay. All right. This would really be a fantasy of mine. Okay. I hug you goodbye. Mm -hmm. No. First, I rub your legs. I massage them. You tell me <laughs> if I'm any good at it. Then I stand up. I'll sit in my chair. You stand next to me. I rub huh? your legs. You gonna just rub, rub her legs? Yeah. You can rub my legs goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna rub your legs goodbye, and then after I rub your legs goodbye, <laughs> I stand up, I give you a hug, and I kiss you goodbye. Okay. That's okay with you? Sure. Agreed. Negotiation done. <laughs> Negotiation done. <laughs> Boy. Okay, I'm coming over. This is a, she's a very friendly person. Thank you. I I, I appreciate this. All right, thank you. All right. <laughs> Here comes Pam for the third time. <laughs> this is my final shot. All right, hold on. Now I'm standing here. You're sitting. All right, here. Wait. Ready? Wait, wait. Where are you putting the, mic the microphone? <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> All right, I'm going to rub your legs. Ready? Rub my legs. All right, here you go. You ready? Yeah. Wow, they're tight. From gym, from gymnastics. How am I massaging? Good? Great. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I got the massage. All right, that's the massage. All right, now I can stand up and hug you. Yes. And kiss you. Yes. Then when do you want to get out of the business? All right, here we go. All right, first I'm hugging you. Oh, I'm going to miss you so much. Oh, I'm going to really too. miss you. You are so much fun. Can I pull your bra strap? Oh, jeez. Please? Can I pull your bra? No. Let me just, just, let me just. What are you going to pull? Just right at the back. Like a ninth grader, he wants to pull it. your bra What? Like this, watch. Oh. <laughs> this. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that fun? That was fun. I mean, that's not cheating. <laughs> and now I'm going to kiss you goodbye. Where should I kiss you? <laughs> on her butt. <laughs> Can I kiss your buttocks goodbye? Can I kiss your buttocks goodbye? Please. Can I kiss no. you on your buttocks? No. Kiss my lips. I can? Yes. No. Come on. I'm clean as a whistle, I swear. I haven't... Right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't do the sound effects. <laughs> that was a kiss. Yeah. You were going for more. I'm really in love with you because you, you're a very friendly person. Man, what a body on you. <laughs> Look at that ass. Well, I am so just, I am dizzy. I am dizzy from you. I'm you sad have. to go. You are sad? Yeah. Oh. This is the most fun. This is the most fun. Of course yeah. it's the most fun. Look at Jackie. He's having a party. <laughs> <laughs> Fred can't even stay awake. <laughs> so where do you have to go now? Back to the hotel? Yeah, I'm just going to go relax for a while, and then I'm doing the John Stewart show tonight. You're doing the John Stewart show? Oh, yeah. good. Three people should see you on. Oh, that must be the farewell yeah, show. Right. <laughs> wait, wait. Get close to that microphone. You're going to do the John Stewart show? Yeah. Who booked you on that? They should be fired. No, I only did a couple things when I came here. Oh, I really? Kathy and Regis and Live at Five and you and... Um, what would you wear on Kathy and Regis? Did you wear a dress? I wore a little skirt, and I wore my high go-go boots. Well, why'd you wear that here? I'd love to I see your legs. already. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can't wear the same thing twice. Yeah, i just like to see your legs. But I like what you're wearing. I like what you're wearing. Yeah, you're hot. All right. <laughs> well, thanks for having me here. Can't believe you're doing the John Stewart show. More people will see you in a taxi than. Uh... <laughs> All right, we're just gonna take a short break and we'll be back with the news. Oh, okay. Thanks, Bye -bye. Pam. Bye. Pam, thanks. Thanks, thanks for coming to do the show. You guys. You can come back anytime. It was a pleasure Bye. to meet you. Bye. Bye. Nice Bye. to meet you too. Okay. Hey, if I could ask you just for two seconds, sure. please, I want to get you to cut three very quick ideas for okay. the show. Follow me. How did it go, Pam? Great. I was, they're very nice. You're not nice getting people. in trouble, are you? No. Oh, good. No. You mean like with my boyfriend? Right, right. No. No, Brett's really cool. Okay. Brett's like super, he's a very, he's, he's funny. I mean, he'll love the fact that I showed him his penis. Oh, that's you right. You know, that's cool. I mean, that's the way, that's the way love should be. Should be able to share, you know? <laughs> people see me naked. Right, that's you right. Know? It's so only fair. Kind of, it's even. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, so we're much gonna fun, get man. one of those jackets. How much are they? Like that was so much fun. Yeah, give me an order for them. Yeah, all right. This is a good. This is the. You know, if I did this alone, I'd be the reason to come to New York. You know? Good, it's, good. It's great. I love it. Oh, it's so sweet. See you guys. <laughs>